This is a brief demonstration of the import process. The import process is a process that faculty can use to import an archive file from one course into another course in Blackboard to repurpose content. So in this example course, there is no content yet. And I want to add content I developed in another shell into this course. So previously, I downloaded an archive file from one of my courses and it contains all of the content tools and assessments that I will need to facilitate the course. And I have to import this archive file into my semester course section. So in this new section that I want to add that content to, I go down to Packages and Utilities and then go to Import Package View Logs. On this page, if you've never imported anything before, you'll, this will be blank. Um, what you'll do is you'll click on Import Package, and then on the Import Package screen, click Browse My Computer, and select the archive file where you saved it on your computer. So I saved my archive file on my desktop. I'm going to select it and click Open. And then the last step is scroll down, and under Select Course Materials, click the Select All button. That will ensure anything that is inside that archive file gets brought into this course successfully. So once I've done that, I'll click Submit and just wait for the upload process to complete. So if you're waiting on Blackboard, you might see a status message in the bottom left corner of the screen that will tell you your status with the process. So just be patient and wait. If you are successful, a banner will appear at the top of the page that states success. This action has been queued and email will be sent when the process is complete. Okay, so depending on how big the file is, this may take several minutes to process. You'll get an email confirmation once the process is complete. Once you receive a confirmation email that the import process is complete, please go back to your course, refresh the screen, and check your content to make sure that it has come in completely. And I also recommend checking your settings on any content where you had due dates or availability dates to update them if necessary. If there's any duplicated content in your menu, you may delete them through the down arrows next to those items.